Hello and welcome to the recap of GameStart's first recorded Code Mage tournament. For those who are unfamiliar, we here at GameStart teach programming through play. Our students spent all week learning Python by writing scripts, which they will use to battle each other on our final day. We had eight participants in our single elimination tournament, most of which had never coded before this week. We're going to cover all the action from our tournament and bring you the highlights of what turned out to be a thrilling event. In our first round, we saw the arena get destroyed by Sean and Jared's spells. Game 1 went to Jared when Sean suffered fall damage from the arena collapse. In Game 2, Jared's shell game made its first real impact. While teleporting between 9 obsidian cubes, Jared is able to stay relatively safe while he fires explosions around the arena. With this first win, Jared will move on to the semifinal round. In Round 2, Adrian and Ian faced off in the arena in a controversial match. Adrian had a handful of offensive wands up his sleeve, while Ian came with just one. Ian's squid explosion, while effective in practice, was altered prior to the tournament at the recommendation of Ian's instructor. The modifications made the spell less potent, and Adrian was able to capitalize on his superior range to take the match. Round 3 between Eli and Lily began with Eli prematurely encasing himself in ice. His attempt to teleport out saw him fall prey to a TNT trap he intended to set for his opponent. A quick explosion from Lily would seal the first game, and a second well-timed explosion in the final game had Lily advancing to the semifinals. Our final match of our first round was between Chris and Ari. Both of these competitors put up a great fight, but the match would be decided when Ari backed into a lava block. This would send Chris through to the semifinals where he would face Lily. Before the semifinal match, the judges allowed Ian and Adrian to replay their match for posterity after Ian had been allowed to modify his wand. The result remained the same, however, and we would see Adrian fight Jared in our first semifinal match. The battle between Adrian and Jared was epic. Adrian again used his ranged attacks to take the first match before Jared could get his shell game online. In the second match, however, we saw the true power of the shell game as Adrian was forced to wade into the fight which negated the superiority of his range. Adrian did manage to find a way to destroy the obsidian cubes and force Jared out of hiding, but by then Jared was able to get close enough for his explosions to be deadly. The last match of the round ended in a similar fashion and Jared would advance to the finals. Our second semi-final match saw Lily hit the turbo button as she used her speed wand to make herself a hard target for Chris. This would prove to be enough to give Lily the advantage in what was otherwise an even match. Chris fought with honor but would not be moving on to the finals. However, Chris and Adrian did get the opportunity to compete for third place and again Adrian's range proved to be the deciding factor in this match. With only one match to go, we reverted the arena to its ceremonial state with the customized arena designed by Lily. It was a wonderful spectacle and we were honored that Lily would share it with us. In our final match, Jared was able to start the shell game, but it seemed to be less effective than normal. It did however provide cover for which Jared used to get the drop on Lily and take the first match. In the second battle, Lily's speed appeared to put Jared on his back foot, which caused him to teleport into his obsidian wall. While he was trapped in the wall, Lily had stepped backwards into a lava block. Jared, however, won the race to the grave, which tied the match up at one game apiece. In our final match, Jared's shell game worked as planned and allowed him to sneak out an attack against Lily to win the match and the tournament. All of these competitors fought valiantly with their code, and we at GameStart could not have asked for a better display of what it means to become a code mage. Thanks to everyone for watching. You can find the full tournament in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe for more Code Mage battles and other videos from GameStart. And remember, don't just learn to play, play to learn. Until next time.